Football is here, folks. It's finally made. We made it through summer, and practice starts out here as we, as we speak this afternoon. On September 3rd, when MSU kicks off the season against Memphis. But before then, got a camp to get through. Is that the usual? Field three? Field two. Got this little jug right there and just put that down in there. Or just take hash marks off, save it, do outline your mind. We'll get going uh, hard and heavy on Friday and we'll see. Boy, everybody's excited. And then they'll hit the practice field tomorrow afternoon for practice number one. You know, State's going to play Memphis week one, which is, y'all, I don't know if you realize this, it is 30 days from today. Saturday, September the 3rd, 30 days from today. Focus in uh, this morning. This morning during walkthroughs. All right, eyes and ears on. Eyes and ears on. Uh, th this morning during walkthroughs, I thought we did a great job. Uh, attention to detail and focusing in on our job. Okay, all those mental reps are always helpful for us. Like I told you, got to make sure that we have a great meeting. Let's focus in on the little things that we got to do. We're not going to stay in here long. Make sure that we outwork people. Does everybody clear off that? All right. Yesterday we talked about a physical mentality. Okay, got to continue to improve on that. Jason Washington's making a switch this year. He's uh, been on the defensive side of the ball the uh, previous couple of years on the staff for Mike Leach, coaching safeties, and he's switching over, making a little change, coaching on the offensive side. He's the running backs coach this year. Good, that a boy, that a boy. Good, green, 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 green. Good job, Dale. Good job, Dale. Hey, concentrate on them, on the little things. All the little things. And it's a really good time for that because you have a veteran group of running backs with Woody Marks and Dylan Johnson at the head of that group, third year players that have started since their true freshman year. So it, it's a good time to make that transition with former running backs coach Eric Mealy. He's now in charge of all the special teams. So a little bit of a shakeup on the staff. You got me my kill. Can't say anything bad, so. I got to make sure that I say everything good. <laughs> you know, for Coach Washington, it just looks like a fit. Look at you. You catch the ball with one hand, you think you're special now, huh? <laughs> no, it ain't every day. Watch the way he coaches the guys individually. It just, it has that look of a fit. On top of them, if they got to double on up to the linebacker so you, they can have an idea off of how everything works. You got me? With a ball carry behind them. Hey, right, good job here. Now, don't be a grandma turning around and taking forever. Got to snap that head around quickly, all right? Snap that body around quickly. All the little things right. Do all the little things right. Watch it, watch it. Whoa! <laughs> you like that, huh? <laughs> I'm about to pass out. I ran one round, I'm about to pass out. Coach Washington, you know, he played on the other side of the ball, so, you know, he knows things that we don't know, you know, so I think that's our biggest jump, you know, I mean, just by far just knowing things before it happens, you know, and just not thinking, just reacting. Hey, hey, don't cross on over. Just boom, and that ball's coming to you. You got me? Don't cross over. Coach Washington, he, he, chill, he bring a lot of energy. He bring a lot of energy to the table and means he really, like, right there, he understands and, like, he just, I like him as a coach. Faded late. Got a boy pretty. Good job. K Rod. Run, stick your hands out late. Cause he like know the defense well. Like he give us tips on like when they blitz him. You could tell like when like somebody finna overrun or something. All right. Sell it. Boom. All right. Big acceleration. From him teaching safeties, like positions, you can tell like when they feet up. Like, he's, it's a lot of steps that he, he know as a, being a DB coach. Hey, I, I, I'm not going to let you go through the motions, dog. Yeah, find your grass. That, ah, good, good, good. Back out. Good. Hey, like that all the time, please. Hey, like that all the time. 
You got me? Come on, push it, push it, push it, man. Push yourself. possibly be. Make sure we get better today. Make sure that something you saw on film, you fix that today. Three or four weeks before um, football starts, we start getting out a little bit more and doing a little bit more outside. Right out here in the yard, I try to, you know, walk him around. Man, let's flip. Let's go flip. Five minutes here, ten minutes there, a little bit longer, just to be able to get a little more, he, him get a little more heat tolerant. We don't stay out out there, out on the football field, obviously, if it's 100 degrees or anything like that. We'll go and um, do dog walk, and then we'll get the boys, you know, when the, when the boys run out on the field right before the game starts. Then after that, we will um, usually go to the M Club or go somewhere where it's nice and cool. When I started uh, taking care of the bullies in 1993, this was the harness that they used, so I went back and did a little research, and it's over 40 years old, so from now. And then, of course, the cowbell um, I put on there whenever uh, Tonka started, Bully 19 started as mascot, and that's the same cowbell. It's it's just great. <laughs> I mean, it's to me, that is rich tradition right there by itself. Whenever I put the harness on him, he's a completely different dog. He loves to play and everything before the harness goes on. Once the harness goes on, we're all business. And he's very alert and very focused on game day because he knows it's game day. My demeanor changes, so therefore his changes as well. Oh, he loves it. When it's winter time and the weather's really cool, I, I can't get him in. He'll go and he'll just act like a pig in the sun should just lay there. This will be his eighth season with the past bullies whenever you pick the harness up and they look at you like, man, if I gotta go do that again today, you know, I know it's thinking, but you know, it's about time for to think of retirement, which is usually about eight or nine years. So he's still excited to put this harness on, so we're ready to go. Oh, where are you going? Are you getting up? Are you leaving me? Now I'm gone. Don't leave me. Yeah, you can't leave me. Yep, I'm done now. <laughs> Coach Arnett. Genius. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, the man, he like makes up stuff on the fly. Like in, even in the game, like he'll come to the sideline and draw something on a whiteboard. This is what we're going to do. And if we go out there, execute it, and it works. Tackle for a loss or a sack or something like that. And so the guy, he definitely, he knows what he's doing. It really don't matter. I'm not sure if you guys know this. Uh, our second game of the year, we got to play at what is 10, 10 o'clock Central Time when we go to Arizona. 10 o'clock, so you're going to be sitting around plenty of time, okay? You don't have any control over any of that. What you do have control over is how you actually come out here when, we, when, the, when the ball kicks off and it's live football. Let's go, uh, uh, we go Obviously, with with the amount of time and resources invested in major college football now, you're, you, know, you're, you guys are you're pretty much in shape year round. Now, obviously, football shape's completely different, getting pads on. So, you got to hit enough to get used to the bumps and the bruises and the, you know, the aches that come with playing football and yet still being able to play football. Uh, so, you got to work. You got to work that into shape. But you know, obviously, we got to, uh, Coach Brown and his staff does a phenomenal job. Our guys come into camp in shape, and so. Uh, it's not like you're starting from ground zero. Zach Arnett in his third year as State's defensive coordinator, and State's fortunate to have him there. So he's a name that everybody knows, but the reason is he's done a heck of a job everywhere he's been. He was at San Diego State, where they have one of the best run defenses in the country. Mike Leach brings him to Mississippi State, and they've been very, very good, especially against the run. When you got vets who've got a lot of reps also, you can you, know, you don't really do install, right? You just come out and say, all right, we're calling whatever, and you should know how to handle it. So that's, that makes it pretty fun. Can that help you go further faster when you're talking about a finite number of days before first game when you've got guys who've had a lot of reps, the expectations there kind of? 
I think so, but then when I go watch the film after the first scrimmage, I think we're doing way too much and we don't do anything very well, so. But it's an annual mistake. In the 2020 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Charles Cross, tackle Mississippi State. Okay, so Charles Cross will go... You're replacing the number nine overall pick at left tackle. So regardless of where Coach Miller uh, plugs in that offensive line, you've got a challenge, right? You've got a challenge in, 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 in replacing a guy that was an incredible player for us but you really have to like what you see up there in terms of guys that have played some snaps. On you. Tight, tight, tight. No, bullshit. Do it again. Hey, stop hitting things over the top. Come from low to high. Double under punch. Look at the power. The entire group should be a little more comfortable this year because it is different. I know people look at it and say, well, just, you're just past that. And, well, not really. Quick feet. Don't. T hey, knees pointing out. Hips are going out, right? Knee goes out, hip goes out. Let the ankle lead the knee. If it's an elongated drop, if it's a quick drop, the ball's coming out fast, you can take a different approach with how you use your hands or how big of a step that you take with your feet. You're, you're like trying to fan a flame. It's, it's six, boom. It's from here to there. All those things, they're, they're, they're micro fundamentals of it, but they can all be big and just giving you different advantages throughout the course of a year. I think the entire group should be a little more comfortable now. Inside out, inside out, inside out. Inside out, good, Dollar. Dollar, rotate it here. Dollar, rotate it here. Get that elbow tight. Elbows tight. Elbows tight. That's it right there. Good, right there. Work your way around. Everybody gone? I still think you got a long way to go as far as fundamentals, um, using our hands, playing low pads, you know, all the stuff. I thought we've run the ball fairly well this camp, which is hard to do again, but uh, we haven't run it great. But I think that we're starting to get into some – keeping our feet in the ground. I guess along with that, what have you thought of Dollar Bill kind of moving to that left side and his role there? Uh, he's gaining some confidence. I hope he continues. Next group, let's go. Reload the card, reload the card. Here we go. Here we go. Hurry up, let's go. Rapido, por favor. I need some agua. Here we go. Thank you. Go vertical, stay with it, drive him out of the hole. Run your feet, double under punch, dude. Let, redirect his energy up. If you keep catching everything, you're not gonna move anything. Here we go, let's go. Use your hands, not your face. Uh, we're doing pretty good, we're taking it day by day, getting better. You got kind of a different guy next to you all the time. How, how do you help those guys get game ready when you're kind of plugging and playing every day? I mean, as long as everybody know their plays, I keep everybody straight and we get our job done. What have you seen from Albert Reese when he's moved inside? Uh, he's pretty strong, big guy, hard to move around him, very good. Leach talked about it all kind of coming together for Dollar Bill this year. What have you seen from him? Uh, very, he's very outspoken guy. Like, he put us, he sometimes put me on point. So, he get, he get everybody right. Now, Cole, 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 make sure he comes down in that A gap. I know, didn't, didn't go vertical, go get him. If you don't give him a look, I'm going to put you in that sand pit. You've got to fight like hell to get across his face so Q knows to reload. You got me? Come on. It was, where, where was he? That's, he right, so you got a bubble here, right? Here, run it. Let's go, line it up, line it up. I'm right here, right? They're stacked. Somebody's got the. Somebody's got contained, somebody's got the B gap. He could, so I need to take inside out footwork or, right, or jab step right. Boom, right foot first. All right, if he stays out there and he flows, I capture him. Here we go, do it again. It's on any time you got a, a bubble gap there, right? Here we go. But yes, in this particular case, it's because you're the what? Backside player, right? You're the backside 
backside sift man, right? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Deliver it. Now go. Boom. That's it right there. All right. First group back up. Let's go. Hey, wide now. Wide now. Right there. Right there. Right there. We need good work tomorrow. Good work tomorrow from start to finish. And that has to do with people going out there doing their job. Make sure the most important thing for you to do is do your job. I mean, constantly I have some super intense guy that thinks he's doing his job by being super intense, but then he loses track of what he's doing. So you do your job. And then I get some other guy that wants to be the confused guy. No, do your job. And then I get some other guy that's a lazy just trying to, um, you know, uh, wait the thing out. Well, you don't even, if, if you're that guy, you don't belong here. You're in the wrong place. Somebody gave you the wrong direction. So just make sure that you're a guy that improves at doing your job one play at a time tomorrow. Break it down. I got the defense, offense has ball security. It's cold enough. It's cold enough. 